Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to improve our previous game, Simple Picture Co game, uh, and add some features. As you may notice, this game has a few bugs and it's not ideal. It does not count, it does not check if the game is a draw and you can, for example, submit on one field x nodes and that's not good we need to fix those things first let's fix the draw thing so in order to do that my idea is to create a counter variable that will uh, count the number of times the uh, players play the game or the while loops and by doing that we're going we're going to check if the counter is equal to 9 then we're gonna check if the game is draw and if it draw we're gonna display that if not uh, the default winning will be displayed so to achieve that we're gonna define an integer and we're going to define an integer val a variable that's called n and we're going, going to set its value to zero at the beginning of our main function after that we are going to increase it when entering to the while loop and you're gonna add here else ah, no, we're gonna we need else if else if win is equal to our backslash that we introduced here as you can see and n is equal to 9 we're gonna show a text it's a draw one It's a draw, it works without a flaw. <laughs> it's very nice. So that settles it. We have now the option for checking if the game is a draw. The next thing we need to do is to check if our field is already occupied. And if it is, then we need to show a message to a user and request the input again. In order to do that, we are going to go to the input function. You can do this by right-clicking right on function and click go to definition. That's a faster way and you will learn something interesting about Visual Studio. And in order to do this, we need to track if the field is already occupied so if the user presses one we are going to check if matrix zero zero is not is equal to one and if it's equal to one We need to do it like this. Then we can submit. Else, we're going to print a message field is already in use. Try again. And as you can imagine, we need to do this for this nine times. So let's start doing it. Else, if we're gonna add this here, we're gonna copy this code if it's equal to two, and 
zero one. We can delete this. And we also need to call our input function again in order for it to work. So as you can see, we can delete this now and do it again. It's simpler to edit it like that. So it's going to be equal to, it's going to be the, the last field in the first row. Yep, I made a typo. Let's not. So let's copy this again. Now we switch to the next row. This is going to be one zero. No, no it's going yeah, it's going to be one zero. The next row. Four five is in the middle. It's going to be one one. Six is going to be one, two. Seven is the first field in the third row. So zero, zero, like that. I need to change this seven and this to six. And this is good. Uh, you shouldn't forget that. And we're going to have eight. It's two, two, one, one. And this should be eight also. And we have nine here, nine, it's gonna be two, 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 two. So this will work. And let's test our program. So we press one, we press one again is already in use, try again. You press 2, it works. You press 3, it works. You press 2 again, it says field is already in use, try again. You press 4, it works. So the player is not switched. Now it's X turn if we press 1 again, and if we press 2 again, 3 or 4, if we press 5, X is gonna play. So that's how it should work and it works without a problem. So as you can see, we fixed those two bugs now. And the only interesting thing that we can add also is to show whose turn is it. So we can do also that. So to do that, uh, we can use our variable player and show it when we press the, when we show this message, press the number of the field. So we can say like this, it's, now we display the player variable, player turn, talk, press the number of the field. So when we run the program, it's x turn, press the number of field. 1, it's so turn, see, if we type again 2, the game works now without a problem. So, thank you for watching again. Uh, the last tutorial was too long, so I didn't want to continue to be 30 minutes because we needed these few things. And I decided to make another tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are probably going to... Um, learn more about classes and maybe we are gonna make another game so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel